Rugby Union Scrums. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Rugby is a game enjoyed by millions of people around the globe. We've joined up with National League One rugby club Isha at one of their pre-season training sessions to bring you everything you need to know to play like a true professional. The scrum is arguably the most iconic image in rugby. The two teams forwards crunch together in a brutal battle of might. The winning team gains vital possession of the ball. There are several scrums per game. How the scrum is formed and which players take part is bound by extremely strict guidelines. These are specialist positions and one wrong move could result in a snapped spine. Here's how it's done. Positions. The hooker and two props bind together, arms linked like this. This is called the front row. Following that, the two locks bind, get down on one knee and put their heads between the prop and the hooker, resting their shoulders underneath the buttocks. This is known as the second row. Behind them is the number eight and the two flankers hang off the sides. Engaging. You'll typically hear the ref say the words crouch, hold, touch, engage when a scrum takes place. This is a guide so both teams do the same thing at the same time. Teams then interlock so that no two teammates' heads are next to each other. This is where the push is gentle, the scrum is held steady. Ball in. The scrum half for the team that was awarded the scrum feeds the ball into the tunnel, dead straight so neither team has an unfair advantage. Pro tip. Make the hooker control when the ball gets put in. A subtle tap of the hand to signal to the scrum half will do. If the ball goes in before the hooker's ready, the scrum is as good as lost. No one's allowed to raise their feet ready to hook it back until the ball has left the scrum half's hands. At this point, the hookers both attempt to hook it back to their teammates. Props are responsible for keeping the ball within the scrum all the while driving the opposing team back. By now, the scrum half has made his way round to the back of the scrum, so when it pops out, he can feed it away to the backs. Foul play. Collapsing the scrum or lifting the opponent is extremely dangerous, so expect refs to come down hard if anyone's doing it deliberately. If the ball comes out the sides of the scrum at any point, the ref will order it to be put back in again. That's it. Simple, isn't it?